Welcome to the countryside here, the sea, the mountains, everything possible here. And we're working on Ctrl T if you made the keyboard shortcut and NeoFetch is already installed. So this is Arch Linux, it's GNOME and it's on a VirtualBox machine. And we've also already installed some of uh, elements, some, some Firefox we installed. We went to the GitHub of Arch Linux D, so github.com Arch Linux D and downloaded Arco Gnome. Now we have not installed everything. We ran a few of them, 200 and I think 300, I don't know which one it was. It results anyway in some more applications and a theme and surfing icons and so on. So we have more bullets here in the front if you compare it with last video. The thing is, what if I wanted to spice up my system? That's what we call it. So getting the Arco Linux spices in, for instance, this is my look of Ctrl Alt. This is supposed to be. This is supposed to be termite. It looks a little bit different than our termite on Arco Linux. So how do we get things in? Where is my Ctrl Alt? Where is my update? Where is my PKSYUA? That is not known. These are aliases. There are aliases that are personal things from Arch Linux. So, is there a way to get stuff from Arch Linux in? Well, first thing is probably going to say, let's try to run this because this is the software from Arch Linux repo. Just open it, Eric, and have a look. So, not everything is going to be installed. Everything with a hashtag is not needed in GNOME. But these guys, uh, the arc themes, etc., etc., all the things that are green here, pseudo green, those guys will be installed. It's quite a bunch. But the thing is, can we? So, right mouse click, open internal, move it over here, and try running number 600. Target not found. It's as simple as that, and there everything holds. The thing is, we need to go to, if you're on Arch Linux, and only if you're on Arch Linux, you have to go to the Archway. So, closing that up, opening a terminal in that folder. So, this is something we need to do. Well, the first thing, number 10, is maybe something you don't need to do. So, I suggest you skip it for now, and if, it's, if number 20 is not working, then you run number 10. So I know that number 10 is necessary in my region, in my computer, in my internet service provider. Thank you very much. So I'm adding three um, lines, three key servers with a specific port to it. And that helps me. That will bypass everything that they, they or the router maybe, they blocked. So now the keys will be important. That's important for me because Number 20 is going to say, hey, there is a specific key from Eric Dubois. This is the key, sign it and trust it. So this is now going to be refreshed. So this is not us, what you see passing. This is a key server and we're getting a refresh of the keys. So it's about new signatures, 3713. So those are now in. If you have that in, then you can run number 30, which is going to add our specific repos, our Arco Linux repos to the system. Okay, if that's done, there you see it already. We have already lift off in the sense that we have already all the Arco Linux repos in it. When you do now an update, which is not existing, update, remember, alias. So sudo pacman minus syyu. <coughs> this is what is in the script. So these lines up here are the same as these lines down here. Meaning, meaning, let's try this termite thing. Minus S, add to Linux, and then you start pressing and say, okay, t -t 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 termite, there it is. I see it. There is a ter, ter something, termite themes. And then you take that one. The files have been installed in etcd.config termite. Something has been, happened to our system, it says here. The line down there. So, go have a look. Computer, etc. Scala. Put that thing here. 
because we're gonna need it all the time. Control H works here as well. And config is here and termite is here. And there is a configuration file in here, which says bolt through bonus space 12 control T. And we should get something done. Um, the question is why? Why? Because this thing is read from your home directory. This thing that I'm opening here is in your scale. Got it? ETC scale. So it's never used. Nobody is looking at that folder or that, uh, that content there. So anything that's in here should now go to Control A, Control C. Okay, copy paste to home. Control V. Replace everything, apply, replace and apply and merge. Okay, so we're back in our own home directory. That's where it's going to look. Let's take, well, first off, don't like how they sort these folders. I like it better like this. So, dot config termite here it is themes lots of themes super super how much 70 or something control a can we see it somewhere 80 items selected so 80 themes to choose from but i'll choose just uh, the regular one so control alt t and there it is this is your neofetch and this is your NeoFetch. Let's do a clear first. So, next to each other, the new one, the Arco Linux look, and the old look, the general look from NeoFetch. Not from Arch Linux, from NeoFetch. Oh, sorry, from Termite. So these are the differences, and this is what we do. We tweak, we tweak, whoa, tweak and make configs, and, and then, well, we're happy. And if you're not happy, change the foreground color, change the background color, lots of themes to choose from, and um, have fun changing all our configs. But keep it then uh, somewhere safe, on Dropbox, or in the cloud somewhere, or on GitHub, so we can get it back later. So. That's already spicing. We have spiced our elements. Now, another thing that people often ask is, hey, how about these aliases then? Because that's quite fun. This is your patch RC. That's it. Okay, fine. You've seen it. What's ours? After years of work, <laughs> pseudo Pacman minus Arco Linux. And that one is in the root file, so it's called Arco Linux root kit. Where is it going to be installed? In the scale. It's in the scale. So again, we go over here. Now, the things get more and more complex. If I copy paste over everything, you're overwriting everything from Arch Linux. If you just say, nah, I just want to have a bash or C, that's it. Control C, just that one, and Control V. Replace it, okay, apply, replace. So this bash RC, that's that one, should be overwritten. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Ah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Scale, go back. This is the bash RC from Arch. <laughs> so I did something wrong. Get this one, bash RC latest. You can actually open it. Control A, Control C, close it back up. Go here, Bash RC, this is the empty one. Control A, delete, Control V. So Bash RC latest, that's the version that's coming from us. All right, we have now a very big long Bash RC. Well, not so long actually, but we have it. Or you log out and log back in and it's applied or you type the words source.bashrc. That's it. And now you can start updating if you type it correctly, like so. And you do pksyua. That can only be done because I've installed yay bin in the 
previous video. That's important for you to know. So yay is available on my machine. Okay. So um, yeah, I can keep going on making uh, other changes uh, to the system. Um, let's say that um, what you could do, what I often do, what I rely on from time to time is Pemac Hour. It is at this point in time a little bit out of date, but that's not important. Well updated at some point in time. Why Pemac Hour? It gives us, yep, and that's a password. Oh, sorry, come on, take my password. So, Pemac. The thing is about Pemac is it gives us a great overview of what's on your machine by category, audio, video, development, what's not on your machine. But in my case, I would like to sometimes to see what's in the repositories. So what is in Arch Linux repo? What is in Arch Linux 3 party? Oh, I want to have Dropbox. Oh yeah, Discord is nice. Oh, Spotify, super. Apply and you have installed it already. And there you go. So you keep figuring out or say, oh, let's take a wallpaper as well. Later on, of course, we have to wait for the download here. And this is how you can, well, investigate what things we have and there's not much installed yet so we have the mirror list installed root is installed termite installed this is script 30. so the arc themes maybe you like the arc themes all these colors the variations of the arc theme we can install that as well and you analyze what you'd like to have for instance the arc linux bin is the skull uh, that's in there and pacman little Things they can put in the terminal, stuff like that is, is, is there. Um, lots of information, lots of things. But for GNOME, you don't need Tin2, you don't need Tin2 here, the polybar is not needed, and so on. Spotify giving an error. Oh, yeah, it's too slow. Fine. Then uh, we'll try again. Oh, it's installed. It's installed. Spotify is installed. Let's see. Just making sure. Otherwise, there wouldn't be an icon. So that's not right. It is installed. So there you go. Um, lots of things to do, lots of choices to make. And there is this CRT. Let's finish with that one. Where is it? Just so a nice way to finish here. Like so. Old school. There you go. We have Arch Linux and you have the spices of. Arch Linux to play around with, all right?